Hi, I'm Daniel Bergman and I'm Nicholas Bauer. You're watching Fly TV and today we're doing this. Hi, welcome back to Fly TV. Uh, today we're in Amanes, uh, Sjöforsen. We're going to try to get some big railings. And uh, together with me I have Mr. Pike, Bauer, Niklas. Uh, he knows how to do this as well. He has a former uh, past as a, as a grayling and trout fisherman. So we can see if we can, can manage this. It's going to be nice to catch some uh, or fish with some light lines and do some dry fly fishing. So. Yeah, this is something, gonna... something lighter than a nine weight. Yeah, or a ten weight. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be great. Though. Yeah, I think so beautiful weather and, and a little bit windy in the morning, but otherwise yeah. it's going to be great. But so. we can see there's a lot of bugs hatching. We've seen tons of sedges. Yep. Yep. Some mayflies and some needleflies. Just by the way, there are bugs hatching in your beard. <laughs> <Lovely>. <laughs> Sorry. That's, that's the way I work it. I actually catch bugs with them so we can see what's hatching. You have a small hatch underneath it. I should it. Yeah, so actually can... stick it down into the water and yeah, see what can... drifts through it. It's like this bug net. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Let's go fishing. Let's do this. Yeah. I'll follow the beard. <laughs> follow the beard. <laughs> You're gonna start down there? Yeah, I'm thinking fishing the slicker parts of the of the mouth of the stream. Yeah, okay. I'll go up here and see if it's a little bit deeper down here. So yeah, yeah. Fish this black spot. Yeah, exactly. We need to cover the, yeah. the streams. Happy hunting. The stream seams. I'm using this uh, size 14 uh, sedge fly now, primarily out of C to C. We don't see many sedges hatching right now, actually, but we've seen quite a lot of them in the in the woods. And the grayling usually, you can get them to rise anyway. So we'll see if we can get, get some up on this one. So I walked down a little bit here. You can see Daniel is still fishing the uh, outlet of the uh, big lake up here. And I walked down a little bit in the stream and we're going to fish these small backwaters here. As you can see, there's a rock out there and also rock a little bit further out where you can see the, the white foam over there. Um, we're gonna fish the tailing water from this stone here. The grayling is probably a little bit deeper here so the grayling is standing behind the stone and also in the sides of the stream that's coming here. I'm fishing a, a sedge, a small sedge pupa here in the back and then a dry here up here. When you're fishing two flies like this it's, it's much easier to figure out what they're feeding on. And also it can depend on during the day what they're feeding on. If the sun breaks out a little bit, they can start feeding on the dryers and then they go down and feed on the, on the pupas. So this is a sedge pupa. It's the, um, the insect when it's going from the bottom up to the surface to hatch. Um, so this is um, a very simple imitation of that. We'll fish them up as a dry fly and then you fish them slowly and when you come down, a little bit further down in the stream, you can fish them as a nymph. And um, sometimes you get them to strike on the dry and sometimes on the nymph. So it's a good way to figure out what they're feeding on for the, for the moment. So we just walked probably 50 meters down into the stream here. And I've been fishing these nice, small, flat spots here and I'm fishing them with a the dry fly and a, and a sedge pupa uh, on the end. And um, I had like three or four rises before I was able to hook this. this looks like a nice grayling. Yeah, ah, damn. Such a beautiful day today. It's, oh, whoa. Whoa! <laughs> she didn't like that. 
If you haven't tried fishing for grayling, this is something you should really try. It's so fun and it's also usually fairly simple. That's a nice fish. Hey, hey, hey. nice. <laughs> Excellent fish. Now she's going to go back. Bye bye. Yes. That was a nice one. You need to get a bigger grayling net, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is 50. That's that's definitely 50 plus, yeah. man. Super. <laughs> awesome, man. Good job. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Wait. The fly I'm dry. Came off and yeah. everything. Super. Awesome. Should we take a check how long it is? Yeah, maybe. We'll you need a bigger three. grayling net, man. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So it's the same length as this. Yeah. So it's probably. 52? Yeah. That's a nice fish. <laughs> So I'm just gonna try to land the fly in the back of this stream here, as gentle as possible, trying to drift the dry fly as, as freely as possible. Ah, oh, nice. I think you need to get in there. I think so. Feels like a decent size. Yeah. I actually saw the take and everything on it. <laughs> oh. I really have to play these fish because they're using the stream so well. That's a nice grayling. Man, they're strong. Yeah. Oh. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Cool. There you go. Thanks. Oh, talk about fat one. And we're just fishing a normal five weight rod. Uh, a little bit softer action because the graylings are so soft in the mouth. So if you have a very fast action rod, it's easy to, to lose um, some of the fish. And pretty light tippet. This is 5x in the tip here. And that's 0.16 millimeters. And I think it's fairly good for, for these conditions. When I'm fishing these CDC flies, and sometimes when, it, when you get a lot of fish on them, they, the natural CDC doesn't really float as well any longer. So I used, just put some extra CDC oil on the body here and make them float really well again. It's a good tip when you're fishing CDC flies to use these CDC oils that are available. They really make them float well. Good to go. I need to eat something. I feel yeah. my blood sugar is yeah, going down. I need a sandwich too. Should we put some coffee on? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do some. Some nice, fresh, boiled coffee. On the fire. It's just those ordinary moments we adore. A smile that greets your eyes when you come home. It comes. 
comes and goes and waves You can't predict the shores A tune that plays inside my head and yours Just missed it Yay! I just love bending these softer rods. Another good sized grayling. And as you can see, they've been eating pretty well. And it's a male, you can see it on the big dorsal fin here. It's almost, ah! The females actually have, they have a smaller dorsal fin. Because when they're, when they're spawning, uh, the male, they're standing like this next to each other and the male puts his uh, sail over the female. It's almost a bit romantic. Here you can see the little pupa I'm using. Oh, it's not so little, it's uh, maybe a 10 size uh, Ryacophelia. And I'll put some CDC in, in it just to get it to float just in the surface. Seems to be working quite well. A bit troublesome to hook them though, but if I hook one out of ten and they're that size, I'm fine with it. See that one? Yeah. Over there too. That was a nice one. Yeah. There are some really big fish. Right outside here. On the other oh, side. On the too. other side as well. What are you gonna fish? I really don't know. I don't know what they're eating. Look at those guys. Look, check yeah, out. They're just mom. They're just mom. eating Ooh. them. Close. Oh. I think maybe we need to be a little bit careful here. Yeah. Because otherwise we're just gonna push them on the other side and yeah. then we have to go over there. And, uh, back and forth. And back and forward, all, you know. All the evening. <laughs> Three at the same. They're Four. all over. Check it out. We need to, we yeah, need to we get need going to. now. It was uh, felt so good because I, I had actually, I had like ten strikes before this one, and they oh, didn't Oh, you were standing stick. on the stone. That's why. <laughs> oh, ah, it's a bit deep around there. Yeah, I was like, whoa. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, you're doing the double. <laughs> I'm pumping it in. That rod is so soft, man. <laughs> ah, it's good. It's good. It takes the vibrations off. Ah, ah. Good one. Oh, nice. That's a nice fish. Kilo? Yeah. Two pound fish, definitely. Yeah. But you had like ten fish. Yeah, I had like ten strikes before I managed to hook this one. This it's is nice. a nice fish. Oh, it's a man too. <laughs> That's nice. It's a male too. Yeah. You can see it on the on the, on the fin, yeah. It's in the in the afternoon and we see more and more uh, insects hatching. And we were fishing the other side before, but we saw all the fish rising on this side, so we just took the boat over. Instead of standing on that side casting like idiots. Yeah, <laughs> casting like 30 meter casts, not hooking the fish. I think it was a good choice. Let's see if we can put this baby back. <laughs> it's pretty deep here. Yeah. What? Good job. Good job. Thanks, mate. When I, 
present these sedges. I want to get a, as, a, as long as a free drift as possible. Because the, they don't really seem to be taking them when they're, when they're skating. So what I try to do, I had a rise far out. Try to mend the line upstream. But it's a bit tricky because the heaviest current here is in the middle. And it quite quickly creates a bow on the, on the line. This is what's hatching at the moment. It's a small mayfly. You can see she has, um, or he, I don't have no, I, no clue whatsoever. A brown, oh, bye bye. That's why this brownish um, puppa that is just in the surface is working really well at the moment. I have like at least 50 of these small mayflies on my leg. They're crawling up and hatching on my leg. <laughs> now it's rock and roll. <laughs> Things are starting to move. Now it's starting to move, you know. All this, it feels like mosquitoes, man, They're all over the place. <laughs> That's a good fish, Daniel, hooked up to you. I need to follow it. You're gonna follow it? I need to. <laughs> okay, I'll get out He's of here. He's into backing man. soon. Are you on backing? Very soon. <laughs> Is it a five weight? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I wish I had the eight weight. <laughs> no! You lost it? It came off. Shit. That looked big. That looked big. So looks like they're feeding kind of on and off. We see a lot of fish rising and we get some action and then it stops and then it continues again. It's not like a steady feed. But if you look to the fish we've caught already, it's they're so fat. <laughs> I don't think they need to feed at all actually. Sedge and uh, a mayfly nymph. See what happens. First cast, new fly. It's nice. Real beauty. And the mayflies are starting to hatch as soon as you put your hand down the water. Look at the fly, look at the, the hatch now. It's just, the seagulls are just eating flies like crazy out here now. This is gonna be a nice night. <laughs> 